Hello everyone, welcome back. We got a good one today. We're talking about The Walking Dead, The Omnibus. Almost absolute editions. These are hardcover, slipcase, with a dust jacket on that outside cover. So this outer slipcase is a um, almost matte finish, and then you have a glossy uh, zombie photo on every single omnibus. And then The Walking Dead is also in gloss as well. So as far as presentation on your shelf, it's gonna look fantastic. Uh, you've got the same spine um, with the authors and the artists and the, the, um, the uh, letterists. And then you've got uh, the image logo up here and then a really cool Walking Dead um, glossy um, lettering. And every volume has a number. So there's eight total volumes. It's the back, uh, the same on the back. On the undersurface, you're getting a uh, you, you know your your scan there, and then on the other side, which it's very displayable as well, is you're seeing the actual book with the dust jacket um, on the spine. So let's take out the slip case. I'll try to do this with one hand. And you're getting additional art on this dust jacket. So we've got the Grimes family, we've got Michonne, we've got Tyrese, we got some more walkers, we got the rest of the gang there. So let's slide off this dust jacket. And then you get this black, um, all black tome looking uh, book. This is what all the volumes will look like. You've got that same lettering, but it's indented. It's not glossy anymore. Um, same kind of thing what you see on the slipcase. And there's the book. As far as the back, it's totally blank. Let's take a look at the inside. I'm going to try to flip to something. Hopefully there's no spoilers. That's okay. Um, very glossy pages. Heavy book. Quality. Feels solid. Here is the eye, very little eye, but different volumes have a different binding. So some of them, the eye will pop right out. Others, um, it literally lifts off the ribbon and the glue fails. And you can kind of see that it is doing that in this volume. As far as holding, when you go into the beginning of the book, totally lays flat. Perfect, and then when you go to the back, and that is a very interesting page that I've flipped to, but, and that kind of details what I'm saying. This is the best zombie book, not about zombies. Quality build, you're gonna be happy with it. There are eight total volumes, um, collecting the 193 issues of the complete run of The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is over. The show is still continuing, and um, yeah, if you want to read the comics, now is the time because it's completed. So what do you get in this? Well, you get additional art in the back of the book, and then you get the complete, the complete run. These are quality books, um, solid construction, but are they any good? I was a longtime viewer of the show, never read a Walking Dead comic. Had heard so many great things, and boy were they right. The Walking Dead is probably one of the best comics I have ever read, up to a point. So this, this is the epitome of what a comic book should be. Keeping you guessing. What's going to happen in the next issue? Oh my gosh, we've got to see what happens next. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that's what happened. They died, this happened, yada yada yada. It has that all. Um, this book is completely in black and white. They are re-releasing The Walking Dead, and it's all in those... It's called Walking Dead Deluxe, and it is all in color. If you buy these volumes, know that you're getting them in black and white. Um, the Walking Dead is a zombie story, not about zombies. And that is Robert Kirkman, the writer, his words, not mine. And it 
couldn't be uh, a better description. It is a character-driven story that um, has this incredible knack of making you care about characters and then immediately killing them off or killing them off later on. And it is absolutely devastating, keeping you guessing, wrenching your heart. Just it, This isn't a feel-good book at all, but at times it warms your heart. Carl and Rick Grimes, their story continues here just like the show. And there are many, many parts of this that are very similar to the show. But there are many parts that are completely different and fundamental story changes that I think make the book a greater success than the show. I loved the show. I loved the show in the beginning. Um, but it just got tiresome. It got repetitive. It got drawn out within the first two volumes um, we move so rapidly we move from the rv we move to the farm we move to the prison everything happens so much quicker in the comics than the show and that's what i just loved about it because it, it wasn't all this stalling it wasn't you know just spinning our wheels spinning our wheels we actually got somewhere we got got to where we wanted to go. How they did major villains, the governor, Negan, completely different. The violence, the they just they do so much more in the comic as opposed to the show, just I'm assuming because it was on AMC and they're limited to what they can show. And specific characters, specifically Michonne, completely different type of character in the books. And for, a, I think, a, a positive change, for sure. Big characters that you will not see, surprisingly for me, was Daryl. There is no Daryl in the comics, which is fine. I, I like Norman Reedus, but he is, he is not here. Um, many people say that Walking Dead stops being good at the prison, and you can stop there. I do not agree with that. The Negan saga... All that with the saviors, um, their interactions with the hilltop, and you know the the different the different groups. I think that just is so engaging, so intriguing, making you want to continue reading it, making you want to see what happens next. It's only when we get to the end, um, and there's a specific character called the Princess of Pittsburgh, where it is effectively a nail in the coffin of uh this series and uh it was a good time for kirkman to wrap it up um the walking dead uh, ended abruptly at issue 93 193 no one knew that this was going to end comic shops were absolutely blown away and we talked to our good friend at the comic book shop and he said that many uh readers of the walking dead those comic book readers never returned. So this is such a powerful uh, story and a powerful set of comics and issues that they felt no need to read anything more. They felt no need to continue reading comics. That that speaks volumes to me. It, it can be interpreted different ways. Were those readers not comic readers? Were they not uh, were they not engaged in that type of uh, content were they just in it because of the walking dead for what the story it was or was the walking dead just so powerful to them that they never needed an additional any additional content they didn't want any more comics i don't know um this is a must read and i'm sure many of you that are watching this video have already read it but you're wondering should i buy these omnibus i, I think this is the definitive way to read it you're getting an oversized um, issue. So you're getting those big pages, you're getting a quality build, quality construction, and I think you're getting your money's worth. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. We appreciate you guys. Take care.